turn off your brain and chuck rocks. That's the whole secret to life. That and not dying. Welcome back for another Bicentennial Barn update. Today we are dealing with the most unfortunately placed culvert on the edge of our property. It just dumps a bunch of water and it caused our brand new catch basin to basically get covered up with mud in the rainy season. So when that happens, the parking lot starts getting covered with mud. On the other side, it completely washed out the gravel from my parking lot. I don't want my parking lot to be completely washed out. And thankfully, my excavator, he left me his little bobcat key, and oh my gosh, it is muddy here. Oh no, oh no, oh shoot. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Sometimes the shoes just come right off when that starts to happen. Now the discharge into the culvert on the other side is basically buried in sediment, gravel, and mush. But the water's still flowing. That means I'm gonna fix the other side first. So also what I need is something to prevent this erosion from happening in the first place. I've got this big pile of riprap, so I'm going to make a little pathway of these, so hopefully it'll prevent the erosion from happening again. Alright, a lot of manual loading is taking place here, because I don't want to beat the crap out of this poor little bobcat. This thing was built in 1973. I mean, it's still kicking ass, but it, it literally has a Ford Pinto engine inside it. So the next step, I'm going to measure out by the culvert approximately how wide I want my path of riprap to be so then I can go cut the geotextile to match. The geotextile basically prevents mud from coming up and getting into my riprap, so I need to dig out where it's going to go. I'm very paranoid about bringing the little bobcat over here because it's very mushy though and I don't want to get it stuck. Screw it. I'm gonna try to dig some with the bobcat. All right, I don't know why I didn't think that would work. It's like literally a thousand times easier digging it with the bobcat than with the shovel. So if you've been following our progress at all, you know I don't always have great luck with bobcats on this property getting stuck, but this was a relief that this worked out just fine. So anyway, I get the geotextile down next and I'm shingling it so one over the other, the water won't build up underneath and cause a muddy mess. Then it's time to put the riprap in. The riprap basically just prevents water from hauling ass out of this culvert and causing more erosion. It just slows it down. Okay, so out on the other side of the site in the parking lot, I've got this extra pile of O.304 gravel, which I'm going to use that to fill in the part of the parking lot that washed out from the rain. So next I need to fix the discharge end of the culvert. I already dug it out when I had a backhoe here anyway to fix our concrete disaster. So it's the same idea at this point. I put down the geotextile and then I start laying riprap on top. And I'm going to put literally a ton of riprap here because the water is going to be hauling ass when it comes out of this culvert. And the day I did this, I really wasn't planning to work very hard. So there, there was a little bitching and moaning that I had to edit out of the video, but I eventually got it done. I'm such an idiot. I didn't even bring work gloves. Oh well, we're not giving up yet. Oh come on, buck up there self. Just chuck the rocks. So basically what I'm trying to do is build a, a wall at the edge of this thing and then put the geotextile over it so hopefully mud will not be able to wash into my riprap from the sides after I get this all built. Yeah, this is, this is hard work. Once you see progress, you just settle into a rhythm you turn off your brain and chuck the f***ing limestone around. I'm sorry I was being a pussy earlier, that's what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, just turn off your brain and chuck rocks. That's the whole secret to life. That and not dying. Hurry up, don't fall back. Hurry up, don't fall back. Hurry up, catch the pack. Well, there she is. One functional culvert catch basin drainage system. Totally a one-off job, but one more thing out of the way to get to the end of this project.